can't accept expired rice. Hunger won't kill us, Wike tells Nigerian government. Governor Yeinsom Wike of River State has said he is not interested in getting accolades from the federal government in his bid to protect River State from being ravaged by COVID-19. Wike also said he's concerned about the neglect of River State in the COVID-19 fight by the federal government was also misconstrued for confrontation. The River State governor made this known during a statewide broadcast on Friday while also speaking on the effort of the state government towards eliminating COVID-19 from the state. On the distribution of palliatives from the federal government, Wike said he rejected the over 1,000 bag of rice because they were expired, adding that it was wrong for the federal government to have asked River State to go and take delivery of the trucks of rice in Calabar, the Cross River State capital. He also stated that the disbursement of palliative to states to curb the spread of the novel coronavirus was selective and laced with bias. Wike further berated the federal government's swift response to Kano's situation despite ignoring several earlier appeals from River State government. He noted that he was amazed that less than 48 hours after Kano State complained, the government intervened and gave them the needed support. What happened in Kano again tells you the inconsistencies and the kind of role the federal government plays. It's really unfortunate. When I said the federal government has not supported us, people want to bring down my head. Kano State Governor cried for help and in 48 hours, the president did a broadcast and provided support for the state. If they have responded to our request, we would have commended them. What crime have I committed? Is it that Kano State is more important than River State or what? That is what happens. Is it that River State is not part of Nigeria? There are those that are bigger than the country. There are also those that don't see as part of Nigeria. They said we should go to Calabar and carry rice, rice that is expired. How would they even ask us to go to Calabar? If you want to give us something, you bring it. We can't go to Calabar. We know that our people are hungry, but hunger will not kill us, he said. Governor Wike also said that the state review its permit for movement of oil workers because many oil companies have been flouting the state's order. The River State Governor therefore assured his administration will continue to do his best to protect the people from COVID-19. So this is coming from uh, Wike again, um, the River State um, Governor. If we remember uh, just a little bit of background, um, a couple of weeks, a week ago when he went on air and he stated that he doesn't take orders from Abuja. That was as a result of the, the pilots and um, some passengers that he detained that flouted the lockdown laws and um, all of that. And um, he got his own share of lash. However, la he later on um, released the pilots. And also, he, um, he said he was ready um, for battle with even ExxonMobil, that they keep um, drilling oil from River State. River State produced more revenue for the whole country. But what do they get? They don't get anything. Now, he's stating here that um, um, we can't ex accept expired rice. We all know that um, some, some, um, some governors have also complained about this expired rice. So it's not just um, Wiki that is saying this. So probably people will just think that um, he wants to make some noise again. It's not just Wiki. Some other governors have rejected this um, expired rice. And I really don't know what's up with this expired rice that they are sending across Nigeria to every state. If one state has um, spoken up or has identified that um, the rice is expired, that is enough to look into it and halt the distribution and halt the sending uh, of this rice to other states. Let that be looked into. And uh, we remember one time uh, the, the presidency, the government, federal government um, brought out a statement to say that um, the rice, they were declared not expired by, 
by um, Navdak. They said um, the rice was um, good for consumption. But that's, that's not the case. So is it, is it governor versus uh, federal government? Are they not all working together? I really don't understand what's happening in our country. Now it's um, the, the, govern, the governors, the states versus federal government. Right now, we is sending a message to the federal government to tell them that um, um, expired rice, they are not accepting. Hunger will not kill them. He's also mentioned some things here that... Um, this um, allocation of palliatives, they've not done it um, on on a on a on a fair basis. That he feels that bias has been on it has been biased. Kanu State, he said, Kanu State um cried out for um Ganduje spoke out. The Ganu Kanu State governor spoke out and that they needed help. And um, less than forty eight hours that the federal government responded and came to their aid. But we know that Kano State's um, case was quite different. Over 600 persons died within one week, as alleged. And um, it was um, being looked into. So they sent, they sent aid to them. Who knows? Maybe that's the reason why the um, federal government um, responded immediately. But um, um, Wike is not seeing it in that light. He feels that... Um, is he, are we still part of the Nigeria? Is this one Nigeria? Why should they be treated differently that this allocation of the palliatives is not really going well and it's not reaching everyone if a governor is crying out like this i don't know what the, the city the common nigeria stands stands for and is there really a rift between wiki and the federal government who is when he made a statement the other time that he does not take orders from abuja who is he referring to he's not referring to sibanjo he's referring to presidency who is in abuja is presidency of course and um, Wike, he has very, in, in the late times, he's been very vocal with everything he's saying. He's been very, he's been speaking out and uh, he, he's been really, really speaking out. And to be fair, it's not covering what federal government is doing. If federal government is not doing the right thing, then he's saying it out the way it should be. So that the people of his state should know that he's not the one holding the palliatives or diverting them. It's just that they haven't gotten to him. So he really does not have anything to send across. Now, speaking back to um, responding to Kanu State again, when Kanu State um, cried out regarding um, um, they needed relief, they needed help, Aisha Buhari sent relief to them. So he's looking at it like, is it, is it some preferential, preferential treatment they are, being, they are giving to the Northerners? Northerners are being treated differently. Are we not all part of this same Nigeria together? Why is it different? It's not meant to be so. It is one Nigeria. Everyone, every state, there are 36 states in the country. And if they are sharing um, palliatives, it should go around. It should be even. It should be consistent. It should be, it should be fair, not um, partial. There should be no partiality in anything they do. But it's, it's really, it's sad. It's a sad thing. It's a sad thing. Um, he, it's good that he's rejecting the rice. I wouldn't say he should accept the rice because you can't imagine um, sending expired rice to... Um, to citizens you want them you don't want them to die of coronavirus but um expired rice it's harmful to them that's not um it's not really good enough so people this is the news i'm reaching us at the moment um wiki has spoken up again spoken out again regarding um river state people he's saying that um, they will do their best in his own capacity he will do his best if federal government doesn't want to support if they don't want to help within his capacity he will do what he can to see that um the people of river state they don't die of hunger they are safe and um they're able to pull through these trying times and these hard times that we are going through. Presidency, I don't know what is really what they are doing there in presidency, why they are not considering the whole states, the whole the, the whole states have to be looking to not just one. We can allege the other time that see the money they released to Lagos, even Lagos states alone. Why is it not coming down to other states? So people do leave your take and your comment. Let us know what you think. Share your thoughts um, down below in the comment section. And I want to take this time to say thank you to everyone that have subscribed to us. Please, if you haven't yet subscribed, do click on the subscribe button down below and also click on the notification bell as it enables you to get updates of all of our latest news as they're coming. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up just to let us know you do appreciate what we're doing. So till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.